From your local election headquarters, this is a special edition of News 8. Good evening, everyone. News 8 is your local election headquarters. There's an upset in the race for Rochester mayor. Malik Evans has defeated Mayor Lovely Warren in the Democratic primary. We have team coverage tonight. Jack Watson standing by with the Malik Evans campaign. Ellie Peters is standing by with Mayor Lovely Warren. But there's also big news, of course, in the primaries for city council and the county legislature. Christian Garzon has that, as does Atia Collins. We have a lot to get through, but again, the big race tonight for Rochester Mayor. As you can see there, Malik Evans right now with almost 100% in. He is ahead 67% to 33%. He has given his victory speech, and Mayor Warren has conceded. We're going to go out now to Jack Watson. He is live from the Evans camp over on East Ave in downtown Rochester. Jack, what's the reaction you've been seeing? Well, the atmosphere here in downtown Rochester, Adam, is jubilant right now. An upset in Rochester tonight as Malik Evans is the new Democratic nominee for mayor of Rochester. The Evans camp captured an early lead heading in as results came trickling in, and they didn't look back. The atmosphere jubilant here in downtown Rochester. Evans delivered a victory speech during which he said we need to focus on building bridges in our community that is bleeding, alluding to the uptick in violent crime in the city in recent weeks. Evans ran on a campaign on that mantra, building bridges, and he takes home the win tonight. As you see, Evans addressed the crowd to cheers just moments ago. Take a listen. I submit to you that we need to make sure that we keep our city safe, that we have a system where our police officers are guardians and not warriors. I submit to you. I submit to you that in that minute, in that 60 seconds, that we ensure that our streets are safe and that we stop the bloodshed that we have seen over the last six months. live here at the Evans camp and the atmosphere, like I said, jubilant. It has been this way for the last hour or so. As soon as those results started coming in, you saw the race being called in favor of council member Malik Evans, the longtime Rochester servant, the former school board president, turned city council member, has run a successful mayoral campaign as he defeats Mayor Lovely Warren for the Democratic nomination going into this November. Live at the Evans camp, Jack Watson, News 8. All right, Jack, thank you very much. Mayor Lovely Warren facing defeat tonight. She was anything, though, but defiant when she gave her speech earlier just a few moments ago. Ellie Peters standing by at the Warren camp at the sidebar in downtown Rochester. Ellie, what is the atmosphere there? Well, Lovely Warren supporters, family and friends are actually here celebrating. We'll give you a look at that. Her campaign in just her last seven years as mayor of the city of Rochester. Now, she did just speak moments ago. She congratulated Malik Evans and said she is here to support him 100%. She also thanked her supporters for being with her through one of the hardest years of her life. Warren has been campaigning hard these past few months with a focus on creating more jobs, developing safer neighborhoods, and focusing on better educational opportunities. Opportunities. She said tonight her reason for running was for her daughter and other young girls out there. But there was some significant controversy surrounding her election this year. The mayor was indicted in 2020 on two felony campaign finance charges. And just last month, her husband was arrested on drug and weapon charges. But the mayor just spoke moments ago, and here's what she had to say to supporters. Me running was about my daughter and all the little black girls of this city. It was about letting them know that no matter what comes your way, you will never, ever give up. You don't quit. You don't walk away. Challenges will come. But I can assure you that no matter the challenge, no matter the challenge, you will be get through it. And so I wanted her to see that. I want every child of our city to know trouble don't last always. It don't last always. And so because it doesn't last always, yes, today we may have not won this race, but this is not over yet. My journey isn't over yet. The best is yet to come. 
Warren was elected back in 2014, and she was the first female mayor of Rochester. Live in Rochester, I'm Allie Peters, News 8. All right, Allie, thank you very much. Mayor Warren uh, speaking very fondly of her daughter today, who has been by her side through this whole campaign. A very personal speech indeed, and some big setbacks for the breakaway Black and Asian Democratic Caucus in the Monroe County Legislature tonight. Let's go over a couple races. First, big one here. Vince Felder has lost to Mercedes Vasquez Simmons. Felder has maintained he is still the minority leader of the Democratic Caucus, but he also helped engineer the creation of the faction that broke away from the Dems and bonded with the Republican Caucus, giving them a super majority. And his partner in that effort, Ernest Flagler Mitchell, has lost his primary race to William Burgess. Flagler Mitchell also facing a number of sexual harassment charges from 13 women. I also want to tell you, two other supporters of the Black and Asian Democratic Caucus lost their primary races tonight as well. Yeah, a huge loss for the caucus, and that could greatly impact the balance of power in the next legislature, for sure. Christian Garzon has been tracking these races for us tonight and joins us now live from the Monroe County Office Building. Christian, what do you know? Well, when it comes to the Black and Asian Caucus, legislator Ernest Flagler Mitchell said it was to create a body that would focus more on the needs of urban citizens. He and others in that group felt that other Democrats were not paying enough attention to citizens in their districts. Now, tonight, three members of that caucus lost primaries. Ernest Flagler Mitchell, Vince Felder, and Frank Keofedlasi. Now, let's get to two big winners in all of this. William Burgess is a social worker coming into all of this. He won the nomination tonight over Ernest Flagler Mitchell in the 27th district. He wants to focus on better relationships between the police and the community, combat poverty, and provide more opportunities. Mercedes Vasquez Simmons feels legislator Vince Felder has not represented his district. That's why she ran and she won tonight in the 22nd district. She wants to focus on building opportunities in the district, which has a high Latino population and is one of the highest unemployment rates in the county. She says going forward, this will all just be more chances to serve the public. First of all, I want to I want to link with the community. I, you know, I want I want to get together with the community um, because with what's going on, with everything that's happening in our community, I think if we sit down and listen to the community's concerns, and then also give the community a chance to come up with some of the solutions, it'll be more effective. It's another day because I've been, you know, active in this community. Um, I have a commitment. I've always had a commitment. My mother being a civil rights activist, um, born and raised in this community, it's just continuing the work. And in another big race, Rachel Barnhart won against Wanda Ridgeway. In downtown Rochester, Christian Garzon, News 8, Adam Marine, right back to you. All right, Christian, thank you so much. Christian Garzon reporting on the inner workings within the Monroe County Legislature. Going to be very interesting going forward over the next few months in the lead up to November. Some change at Rochester City Council as well. Atia Collins is here now from Rochester City Hall with the very latest on the five at large races tonight. Atia? That's right, Maureen. Five seats were open out of the nine-member city council. On the ballot this year, we're close to 20 candidates, 16 of those Democrats, and we had a lot of familiar faces, a lot of organizational leaders and community advocates. Now, out of the five open seats, three members were running for re-election, and they did win their seats. That's Willie Lightfoot, Mitch Gruber, and Melendez. Miguel Melendez. They won re-election. Willie Lightfoot had the most votes out of city council. Now, that left two seats open for new members to this year's ballot, and they were Kim Smith and Stanley Martin. They were elected to be in next year's city council. Now, I did talk to Kim Smith, and I got a statement for her, but first, take a listen to what Mitch Gruber had to say after hearing he was re-elected. I think people are really hungry for change in our community, but they're also really hungry to make sure that there's some uh, co continuity and some element of experience. And Kim Smith, the newcomer to this year's ballot, and she won with some votes. She gave a statement that said she is proud of the people in Rochester, and at this moment, she is incredibly humbled to see how the people voted and stood beside her. I'm going to toss it back to you, Maureen, in the studio. For now, Atia Collins reporting in Rochester, News 8. All right, Atia, thank you very much. We want to get to another big race that we've been following here at News 8 very closely. This is the race for Wayne County Sheriff. Steve McNeil 
the challenger, Robert Milby, has won 2,109 votes, as you can see. Steve McNeil, this is for the GOP primary race. He has lost to Milby. But here's the thing. Steve McNeil will be on the November ballot under the Democratic line. All right. The drama never ends.